looking after his investment. Waziri Salihu saved for years before buying this used car imported from Europe. He needs a new one, but like many other Nigerians, he fears that he cannot afford it. Who knows, maybe this is the last car I'm going to drive in my life from what government is trying to do because I can't see me here with the little amount of money I'm getting to buy another car when it is implemented. But the government is pushing ahead with its new auto policy which raises tariffs on imported cars up to 70%. In the future we will not be able to afford to even import the vehicles we need and that future is even now with this collapse of uh, the prices of, uh, of, of crude oil. So if we have an assembly operations and we look at continuing, which means we will reduce the amount of money we use to import vehicles. The local auto industry is a bit. Factories are in a race to cash in. Assembly lines that are dormant for a long time are producing again. Uh, we actually have capacity in excess of the requirements of the market. Now, we believe that uh, as the market opens up, supported by the new government policy, we will also progressively expand and grow our operations to meet any potential increases in demand. And they are looking beyond the local market. Nigerians spend $5 billion every year importing cars and spare parts. With a population of 170 million, local factories like this want a share of the lucrative market. Not only that, they also want to expand into markets across the border. But used car dealers say the new policy will hurt their industry because car manufacturers here cannot meet local demand. You don't want a business that you lose your capital and is going to have adverse effect on our business because these cars, in fact, it will inflate every sector of the economy. And with the new policy and the growing local demand, many Nigerians like Waziri Sali who say they are either driving their last cars or may not have the opportunity to buy a new one anytime soon. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Kaduna, Nigeria.